Coach Chandler, you had a champ today. Uh, and Gaska, first off, this guy's got an engine on him, huh? He's got a motor. Yeah, he, he doesn't get tired out there. He's having fun when he's wrestling. And, uh, you know, that's the most important. You know, he's down at a weight class where he should be now. And, uh, and that's, that's really important. I, I think he could be on the podium this year and compete for it all. I really do. And the uh, biggest thing is keeping his weight under control. Look, you know, him and I talked, and he, and he said that the going 41 at the Big Ten tournament and getting his butt kicked was probably something he learned a lot from. It definitely opened his eyes. You know, um, you know he, had, he had a lot of success early last year. And, uh, you know, when he started having struggles with his weight, he thought, oh, I, you know, I'm athletic enough, I'm talented enough, I can go up to 41. But he realized there was a big difference uh, you know, as far as leverage and strength. So he, he's made the right choice. He's been disciplined over the summer. And, uh, you know, he's made, ready to make a run. Looking at, you know, the Spartans, uh, you know, you guys had a rough NCAA tournament last year. You ended up, you know, you ended up with the last, the last team. You know, I, someone got a point taken away. Whatever happens there, you know, is this where you guys start to rise to your top? Coach Miko's retiring. You're going to be named the successor. Is this where the rise starts with you guys, Gaska, moving forward, getting some guys on the podium? You know, we're pretty excited. We got some young guys here, um, especially in our, our redshirt class right now. You know, we're redshirting a lot of guys. And they're competing hard, so I think the future is bright. You know, we got we got a lot of work to do. You know, three, four, five years down the road. You know, I expect us to be doing some pretty good things. So, um, really excited. Got to get a staff around us, guys that can uh, wrestle with them, coach them, and uh, the sky's the limit for the program. Looking moving forward for you guys. You know, getting back into the mix of the Big Ten. What's it going to take? You know, you say three, four, five years down the road, you'll be the head coach next year. What's it really going to take? You know. You've had a lot of success as a wrestler yourself. You know what it takes. You're from St. Edward, one of the top high school teams in the country. You know, you're a multi-time All-American. What does it take and what, do, what does Sparty have to do to, to really climb into the top 10 first and then be plaque worthy, a top four team, plaque worthy? What do you guys really got to do? What, what's, what's it going to take top to bottom? The biggest thing is lifestyle. You know, these guys have to understand that we have to train year round and uh, we have to commit ourselves year round. Um, to all disciplines of wrestling, freestyle too. You know, I think it's I think it's great during the off season for the guys to go through training cycles and to peak towards a competition. You know, we don't have a lot of freestyle experience in our program, but it's something that we'll definitely implement going forward. And uh, you know, I, I just think it uh, creates a better development for the wrestlers. You know, to be able to focus on different things going forward. But um, as far as the program, it's it's a lifestyle, and, and these guys have to buy in. And uh, I think we have a good group of young guys that will do that. When you see Ersland, you know, him going to Purdue, and, and, and they are just nails, man. Every guy fights you. Are you guys going to try and get back towards that? And then, guys, we're just going to get blue collar. We're going to get tough. There's no doubt. I mean, I, I believe you got to be strong in all three areas of wrestling, getting off the mat, uh, especially on your feet. I, I like to have some bangers, even though Gaskin's not so much a banger, but he's moving all the time. But uh, we have some bangers that uh, these guys can get in there and um, snap and pull these kids' head down. And, uh, you know, we're going to have a little bit of all type, type of styles wrestling, but uh, excited for it. Can you develop someone here at Michigan State? You guys got the resources, no question. You're one of the, the best universities in the, United, in the world, not even the United States of America. Can you guys develop guys into national champions? You've coached national champions here. Can you guys, under your new regime and your new tenure here, can you coach someone to be a national champ, freshman to the fifth year? Absolutely. Um, there's no doubt about it. I mean, a lot of people forget about Franklin Gomez, and we were very much part of his development. And uh, you know, he uh, he uh, didn't win a state title till his senior year, and you know, and he was kind of an unknown before that. You know, people knew about him a little bit on the freestyle circuit, but when he came in here, I believe Franklin developed a lot. You know, he's a special kid. He was committed year round. The things I was talking about earlier, but uh, there's no doubt, doubt we can um, develop these guys. And uh, all American national champs. People say this place is a sleeping giant. Um, I don't know if you know this, I hope you do, but 1967, I believe, the last team until Penn State won the NCAA title in 2011 to win the NCAA Division I wrestling east of the Mississippi was Michigan State University. Can you guys get back to the glory days of the Grady Penninger? And, and can, you, can you guys honestly be threatening in three years? Three years? I mean, I, I can't say that for sure, but we're, we're going to make every attempt to do that. And that, you know, it's funny that you brought up the 1967 team. You know, a lot of these guys have reached out to me, and uh, you know, it's it's been great to hear from these guys again, getting them involved in the program, 
and uh, next year is actually the 50th uh, year celebration for their uh, national championship. And we're going to bring all these guys back and celebrate that 50th year and kick off something special here. Can you guys put together a Spartan Freestyle Club? I don't know. I'm just I'm making a name up. You can run with it if you want to. Just pay me later. But <laughs> but can you guys put together a Spartan Freestyle Club? Can you put together? two or three volunteer, a volunteer, a director of operations, a strength and conditioning coach, a second paid assistant. Can you guys put together a staff like that <coughs> under you? You know, you guys are pretty underfunded. There's no question about it. You get, I don't even know if they let you guys really recruit out of the state. It's kind of a bizarre thing to me. I know that it costs like Cal Poly, for example, if they want to get somebody out of state, it comes out of their, their, you know, their scholarships. It might cost them two scholarships to bring somebody in from, you know, Michigan to Cal Poly. You guys are in a similar, it's kind of a bizarre, weird situation with, I don't, I don't know, I'm pretty sure that's how your money works, I'm not quite positive, but you don't really recruit, it's, it's hard to recruit out of the state of Michigan. Yeah, I mean, we do We do have uh, part of our scholarships, we, we have to keep so much in the state, only so much can go out of state, but, you know, um, we are recruiting out of state, we just uh, signed Drew Hughes out of Indiana, he's the top 35 recruit in the country, we're really excited about him bringing him in. Um, you know, we got a big time heavyweight out of California who I think is going to be special. He's just scratching the surface. But um, as far as the freestyle program, that is, that is the intention. Um, we are going to bring in some guys, and I'd like to have three or four guys training here next year. And, uh, you know, we, we got to raise some funds. Um, you know, I, I was picking Tom uh, Ryan's brain today a little bit about things, and, you know, it's great that he's being open arms and he's sharing a lot of things with me on how, how to get to that point. All right, Coach, I'm excited. Is there anything else you got for me? No, go flow.